on this tutorial we'll be talking about cocoa alert we're talking about cocoa alert so for those of us that does not know about it cocoa alert is a beautiful customizable toast notification that works for react and nextjs react and nextjs for now so um let's get straight into the tutorial so first of all you need to install it and for the installation command is npm install cocoa alert you can see it on the npm package which i will attach to the description of this video so heading back the npm install cocoa alert then press enter for it to install so okay it has installed so what we'll do next what we'll do next is to okay so what we'll do next is that before you use the cocoa alert you first of all need to import the alert container and you put the alert container in the root of your application and of course this is a react environment what else could be the root of our application um the default one already is the app.jsx so i need to place the alert container here so that every other component on this tree will be able to use this alert so i'll say alert container and it's being imported from you can see it coco slash alert okay so we've imported the alert container i created this one two three four this four button first one for success error warning and info so we have them here just basic styling so look at the first button for success so and on click on this button we run this function here so on this function i'll say coco alert dot sources so i'll say let's just put any message here like working okay so on click on this button it will run the alert based on we've installed it so clicking on sources you can see it shows the alerts of working then same thing with the rest of them we have the one for error we say cocoa alert dot error then you can do the same thing here we have the one for warning we say dot warning and the last one dot info okay so going back and reload we have the sources and we use this whenever there's a sources message like somebody registered successfully on the website then we also have the one for error so we use this when there is an error in the application stuff like that so we, use it, we have the one for warning you can see each of them have their different ui and the last one we have the one for info so if you there are some other configuration we can add to it so like we could set the it's light mode variable we we'll set it to let's say true because it accept and it accept the slight mode variable to so know if the alert because the default one works is at default it's the slight mode variable will be false so meaning it's it will use the dark mode but if you set it to true based on this theme is um you know the light theme so it will now use the light mode version of the cocoa alerts so the same thing with the error and the warning and the last one which is the info okay so that's it and it also takes another parameter which is the position and we can set this to top right top left or center let's say set it to top left so clicking on sources to appear at the top left then we have the center and the rest of them top center say top center you see it to appear here so you can actually add the configuration here it depends on what you want but let me just leave this as the as the default also we can specify the speed at which the alert exits let's say for this this first one which is the sources i'll say after one second it should disappear so i'll just put 1000 milliseconds so by clicking on sources see it's very fast so if i wanted to take much time we can set this to 3000 milliseconds then that's how it is so the default of this is actually 4000 milliseconds so we can leave it as 1000 milliseconds okay so we also have the the confirm the confirm that's what goes along with it so for that i think i'll just create a button here let me use a new button so i'll create a div then this div we have a button we'll give a class name of bg dash let's look for any color okay let's say purple for example I say the button here will be change okay let's give it a class name you see okay sorry sorry for that story has a class name so say the padding x should be 9 px where the py should be 4 so, okay so we have this button then we can set the margin 
margin top to be something like 3.5 okay so let's make the button rounded then let's me reduce this okay so we have this button here so this is what i want to do i'll come here and create a state i'll say const is light mode comma set is light mode equals to use state so we leave the default as first then i can make this an array so instead of having this tree here we can just put the sorry we just put the slide mode equals to slide mode okay so whatever this variable is as you can see the slide mode will be false meaning it's dark mode so we are to see the yes the one for dark mode so while on this our So I'll just use the back tips because I want to write JavaScript code directly inside here. So I'll use the curly braces, then the back tips, back tips. So inside of this place, I can now destructure and do something like it's light mode if it's true. I mean, if it's light mode, then the BG should be white. Then S, which is column sign. So this is the ternary operator. You're writing a variable. Say so if the variable is true, it should be the background should be white. Then S, I meaning if the variable is first then the background should be gray let's say gray 800 then the color see the color should be white see so as you can see if the slight movable is true so it's false we're expecting this background should be black and the color should be white okay so clicking on those the success we get the working we get the one for the error so it works very fine so we have this button here so i'll come here and see i'll click on this button so okay i have a function here already test function so i'll just put it here so whenever on click event or on this button you should run this our test function so on this test function i'll say const or we can just do it directly write an if statement so say await coco alert dot confirm so this confirm is kind of similar to the confirm message we have already on in javascript so since this i'm using await here which is very important so we need to make this an asynchronous function so we gotta use a sync there so um let's see are you sure you want to change the background or let's use bg for short then to build form as a question so we're writing this inside an if statement if await coco.confirm so it's kind of asking a question if the person is sure they want to change the background then if it's true then what should we do we say set a slight mood sorry set a slight mood to or let's just do it directly we say set a slight mode to not a slight mood so i could have easily just said okay after they confirm if it's true it will run this place and it will only be true if the person click OK. Okay, let me just comment this out first, then and test this. So remember, this button is calling the function, which is this function here. Then on click on the button, it will run the if statement, and this confirm. This is how it is. On click on it, say, are you sure you want to change the BG? So if the person click on confirm, it will be true. Then the code here will work. Then S, the code here will not work. So that's why I was saying this confirm button. So we can click on cancel. Then let's continue the code so we we'll say if the person click on that confirm dialog which is all there which is this confirm then what should happen we we'll say set is light mode to we can easily say set it to true because this one is for set it to true to make sense but we need a situation that we can be able to toggle between true or false so we we'll say set it to whatever this variable is i remember how you state work if this is the initial value this is used to update the value then whatever is here we we'll reference this first this first value here so it's light mode it's like mode at default to be false so not false will be true then if it's not true meaning not true will be false so like that like that uh, so going back and when we reload click on change are you sure okay then are you sure okay so that's how it is so the whole state will now be changed so that's how um coco alert work in react then it's also similar step same thing with nextjs you install it then the alert container place it at the if you're using AppWriter, then you can place it directly at your layout fair. So thanks for watching this video. Catch you on the next one.